Um, do you think there are? What are your thoughts on the so-called Illuminati? The there, that there is a, a group of people who got all the toys, and they don't want to share them. Well, gee, that's a big question. It could be a very small question. The the Illuminati, historically, we know quite a bit about, and therefore it is a very unsuccessful secret society. Yeah. <laughs> the the idea of illuminated ones, which is what Illuminati actually means, is a much broader subject and actually encompasses a lot of what we've been talking about. Oh, okay. In the illuminated brotherhoods, which go all the way back to Egypt, there are certain symbols that indicate your awareness of the secret. And I'm going to tell you one of those. It's something called LVX or light. And it's how you use the letters LVX, which are all angles. Um, and if you understand how to use that, then you're an illuminated brother. And this is a very ancient recognition set of symbols going all the way back to Egypt. Mm -hmm. So in that sense, the illuminated brothers are those people who are working for human evolution, working towards centropy, order, light, etc., as opposed to chaos. And right. so, on. so we're not really talking about the bankers. No, see, they may call themselves an Illuminati, but to them it's just a joke. You know, J.P. Morgan said uh, 120 or so years ago, there's no such thing as a conspiracy. It's just like-minded people agreeing on certain principles. And right. those principles are if you've got money, you want more money. If you have power, you want more power. And we don't really care about the people who don't have money and power. And it's a political problem. It's a governmental problem. It's not a right. secret conspiracy, et cetera. Conspiracies, particularly conspiracies of people who are greedy, never work because somebody will always spill the beans. Right. Now, there are Holy. secret groups that we know nothing about who have done some pretty amazing things. Some of them inside the church, some, some on the outskirts of the church, some just totally out in left field. Mm. And we have traces of some of those, the Rosicrucians. You know, that, that's a trace we have of a group that we really don't know, but seems to have had a very profound influence. And in those, you can see the, quote, secret societies. But to think that the Bilderbergers or, or the Skull and Bones, that they really own anything more than just the material realm, it, it's to kind of miss the point. Right, Evil right. has a human face, and it's totally banal, and it's made up of greed and ego and, you know, it's like we give evil way too much credence. Right. They're just playing in that ballpark because it yeah. works for them. Yeah. yeah. It works for them. It exactly. And if you want to play by those rules, okay, you're going to have to get down and swim with the sharks. But, frankly, you know, I like the dry land, you know, where the trees are and the fruit, you know. I'm so big like, on okay. the dry land as well, yeah. Yeah. Let, yeah. Let's go a different direction. Let, let's not get down and. I don't really need to dominate other people to elevate myself. Yeah, Exactly. You know, all I need is a little peace and quiet to get my work done. I mean, we're happy with that. Okay, so we're going to close down. What I want you to do is I would love for you to give your website out, the title of your books, um, and, uh, and uh, information on your upcoming book, if you wouldn't mind. Okay. Uh, my website is vincentbridges.com. The upcoming book is called The Ophanic Revelation. Uh, the book on Fulcanelli is The Mysteries of the Great Cross at Hinde, and it's from Inner Traditions Destiny Books, available on Amazon. Um, let's see, I think that's, that, that's the major ones. Okay, that's great. And, uh, yeah, he's going to have a new book coming out. We'll have a link to it on our site. Go to www.vincentbridges.com, and you can check it out there. It's .com, right? Yep. Dot com, okay. VincentBridges.com. Very simple. Okay, well, that's great. Now, you know what? You open it up now, and uh, we close the show there, with, and I have more questions. <laughs> I'm going to have to talk to you again. Maybe when you're over in Prague, I'll, I'll, uh, you're going to have, gonna have uh, uh, Skype over there as well? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I, I, can't, I can't survive without my 
international uh, voiceover protocol connections. Okay. Well, maybe uh, I, what we'll I, do is we'll contact you in the midst of your research over there to, sure. to tweak out some tidbits of what you're doing. How does sure. that sound? Okay. That'd be well, I'm, I'm actually going to be living in a house owned by Edward Kelly. No. Yeah, really? really? Yeah. Uh-huh. And, he, uh, and he, did, uh, he did part of his work. Wow, that'll be awesome. Oh, yes. There's alchemical stuff down in the basement, in the crypts, as they call it. And there's very strange uh, paintings and writings upstairs in the observatory, in the tower. God, you're never going to leave the house. Well, I, I seem to have my work cut out for me. And the universe has said, okay, you want this? Here it is. So. Wow. Good for you. He's going to be staying in a house that has a crypt. <laughs> okay, An alchemical well. crypt. Yes. An alchemical crypt at that. Okay, well, we're, we're going to close her down now. And uh, thanks, Tom. And thanks, ben, Vincent. Oh, it's been a pleasure. Thank you. And we'll catch you guys next week.